Welcome to Medicare. You know, there's a lot of stories floating around there that are just not exactly true. One of them is Medicare doesn't cover physical exams. I tell you, I it's just sometimes you want to pull your hair out. What little bit I've got left. Hey, this is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgia Medicare Minute. Let's talk about things for a moment. First off, when you go on Medicare, you have a Welcome to Medicare physical and there are a whole host of tests and questions and so forth mainly to assess your current health situation and also get an idea about your uh, your most recent health history now this would be conducted even if you go to your regular doctor which by the way if you have original medicare and a supplement plan you can go to any doctor including your current doctor you don't need a referral you don't need uh, somebody's saying, well, wait a minute, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't go here and there and so forth. It's all available to you. It's all wide open. So I would encourage you to take advantage of your Welcome to Medicare exam, whether it's with your regular doctor or somebody new. That's entirely up to you. Uh, there are a whole list of exams and, and uh, pre-screenings and so forth, including alcohol abuse, substance abuse, bone density test, cardiovascular screenings and tests and so forth, cancer screenings, colorectal cancer screenings, there's a whole bunch of those that are available, depression, diabetes, uh, glaucoma, hepatitis C, lung cancer mammograms I'm reading off the list because I can't remember them all obesity screening some of us will kind of cringe at that one there uh, prostate cancer uh, screening sexually transmitted diseases flu shots hepatitis B shots and pneumo uh, pneumococcal pneumonia shots so uh, all of that is covered under Medicare, under your Welcome to Medicare exam, and uh, it's done at no charge to you. This is if your doctor knows how to code things. Now, occasionally I hear from people that said, well, you know, I ended up paying for this and paying for that, and I can't imagine why people are excited about Medicare. Um, I had this come up just the other day, as a matter of fact, and the client said, well, uh, part of my exam was covered and part of it wasn't, but then the office told me, we're going to give you two separate billings, one because it's performed by a nurse practitioner or maybe as a phys physician's assistant, and Medicare won't pay for that. Uh, well, I got news for you. Medicare pays for regular doctors, nurse practitioners, physicians assistants, basically just about everybody as long as the, the, the exam and the procedures, if they do any medical procedures, are considered medically necessary. If you have a doctor that is wanting to do things and they tell you in advance, well, Medicare won't cover this, you need to find out why they're doing that because the Medicare exam, Welcome to Medicare exam, is quite comprehensive. Even your follow-up exams, your annual wellness visit, uh, a lot of that is covered at no charge to you. Sometimes you'll get into some lab situations that if your doctor doesn't know how to code it, uh, you may get a bill, but uh, just make sure that you talk it over with your doctor and say, now wait a minute, you know, I want to make sure that we're doing the things that Medicare says they're going to cover. And uh, if for some reason they say, well, you really ought to have this, but Medicare won't cover it, they better give you a, a an advanced beneficiary notification form. Now that's a form that if you sign it and Medicare doesn't pay for it, that means you're responsible. If they don't give you this form and tell you, well, you need to sign this if you want us to go ahead because Medicare may not cover it. If they don't give you that form, they can't bill you for it. And if they do bill you for it, you don't owe it. Okay, let's just get that straight right there. And most of the, uh, most of the doctors and so forth that have geriatric patients will know what they can do and what they can't. 
Now, I've been on Medicare for five years now. I had my Welcome to Medicare exam, and I've had, I guess, four uh, annual wellness visits, plus a few other in between. And as far as the routine tests and so forth, I, I've never paid a dime. One time I did, uh, very first time I guess it was, my doctor said, well, I want you to sign this, this ABN form, Advanced Beneficiary Notification Form, because I'm not sure if Medicare will pay for it or not. I think they will, but I'm not sure. I signed it, Medicare paid for it, didn't owe a dime. So let's get on the same page here. There are a whole bunch of screenings and so forth that you can do uh, that are covered by Medicare at no charge to you. I'll be glad to include a link where you can see what all is covered at no cost to you, and I'll put that in the description for this video. This is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgia Medicare Minute. You take care and have a great day.